Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrocco. The quick uh, forecast update. You've clicked on the uh, Weather Now link. In this very early Thursday morning, I'm still in the Weather Center. What time is it? Quarter of one. So, uh, obviously, a, a very uh, busy late afternoon and early evening with severe weather. You're going to want to tune into 12 News uh, early in the morning, starting at 4.30 a.m. We'll have uh, coverage of some of the damage across the state uh, as, of, as of quarter of one in the morning. Got about 20,000 customers without power. Uh, severe thunderstorm warnings have expired. At one point, there was a tornado warning up towards uh, Cumberland and the Attleboro. That was about 1130. Did not have a confirmation of a tornado, but there's been certainly some wind damage, uh, what we call straight line wind damage. So this is where we stand. This is the Doppler radar over the last several hours, and that line of severe storms has now moved offshore of Boston. And what we have here is another batch of some showers and thunder. They're not quite as severe. Coastal Connecticut, southeast Connecticut, that'll be moving through during the pre-dawn hours, uh, you know, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. So we can't rule out a few more rumbles of thunder, but probably nothing as severe as what we had earlier. In fact, here's the Doppler radar as of quarter of 1, almost 1 o'clock in the morning on your Thursday. You see another cluster of downpours and thunder. Southeast Connecticut, that'll be moving through. But this is all gone by... Um, by daybreak, so other than a leftover shower early Thursday morning, we've got improving weather. In Providence, boy, a lot quieter after some of the storms that went through uh, early, during the evening hours of, of Wednesday. So I hit a satellite and radar composite uh, showing one area of severe weather that's moved offshore east of Boston. Some additional showers and rumbles of thunder to our south that will come through during the overnight. But things will be on the improve. When, when you take a look here, you look off to the west, and you see this sharp clearing line passing through Buffalo and out towards Cleveland. This clear weather back in here, this actually belongs to us for Thursday afternoon. So we get some improvement on the way. So you can see the clearing that takes place by noontime on Thursday after some early morning clouds and maybe a little shower around sunrise. But in the afternoon, sunny skies will get temperatures up into the low mid-80s. So your Thursday afternoon is actually uh, looking pretty good. Uh, jump ahead to uh, early Thursday morning around 6 a.m. A cloudy start, maybe a leftover light shower, but don't look for any storms. By late morning, the sun's breaking out. And then during the afternoon, we are looking good uh, with the developing sunshine and temperatures in the low 80s. Beautiful weather on um, Thursday night. And, and just gorgeous on Friday, sunshine along with the low humidity. If you've got beach plans, um, better chance for sunshine would be during the, uh, the afternoon. Be a lingering shower at sunrise. Bay forecast on your Thursday. The wind is uh, southwest at 5 to 10. Early morning light rain shower around sunrise and some sunshine developing during the afternoon. Do we have the seven-day? Yeah, let's take a look at it. Again, improvement for Thursday. Beautiful Friday. Saturday day, not bad. Scattered showers and thunder, though, by Saturday night, and scattered showers and thunder for Sunday and a temperature at around 82. So wrapping it up, a severe weather has pretty much wind down, but we get a few more passing thunderstorms during the overnight. Again, we're taping this as of almost 1 o'clock in the morning on your Thursday. Better weather for Thursday, especially Thursday afternoon, and looking good for Friday.